So we have moved a little bit further and this is now the Pico Viejo crater. Pico Viejo is uh, the old crater as it's called, but there's a weird little story to go with it. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let's go get the, the views in. So here we have the crater and there's a bit of uh, Montaña Blanca pumice there as well, which is the light colored material at the side, the brownish beige colors. And uh, we'll go down and past the crater. There's a bit of collapsed lava material at the side wall of the crater as well. And if we look down there, we see the Northwest Rift on the other dorsalis and the sea of clouds coming through and it's just covering the lower part towards Teno. In the far distance, we can see a little island poking through the clouds. I'll try to get this for you. This is La Palma. And luckily there's no eruption cloud over La Palma today. So it should be visible. I hope we're getting this in. So... There it is now. And... Uh, Sergio just tells me that there's a yellow. Actually, there's Gomera underneath, underneath these little clouds here. The clouds are hanging over Gomera. And in the far distance, there's another spot of clouds. I'm not sure I'll get this in. And uh, this is actually El Yero. So we're seeing uh, uh, four Canary Islands just now. Rather spectacular. Gomera, El Yero there in the far distance. And uh, then, of course, La Palma over there with the Taburiente shield coming through in the north and uh, the uh, southern part being then uh, visible, being a little bit more flat. So, but I'm gonna pass the camera on to uh, Sergio now because I want to tell you the little peculiar story about um, Pico Viejo. Pico Viejo, it's called the Old Peak because it's a little lower and initially it was assumed that uh, the main Tater Peak grew afterwards. So the volcano, it was believed, was rising up, but then it stopped and a bigger volcano grew at the site. But it's not true. What actually happened is that Pico Viejo has grown on the flank of the main Tater edifice. It's a parasite volcano. And uh, like in the animal kingdom, like with humans, some people try to, and some animals try to get higher by being on the piggybacking, being on the shoulders of someone else. And that's what Pico Viejo is doing. It's actually a lateral intrusion of magma that came out of the flank. Now, the trick is that when magma is rising up, trying to get to the peak, it's a long way the taller the volcano is built. And at some point it gets too tall and the gas charging in the magma is not enough and then the magma will find a way to the side and then it might build up cones here. So this uh, parasite cone of Pico Viejo is actually younger than the, um, the uh, main edifice of the volcano but it's a little older than the last eruption, the medieval eruption, but it's not per se an older volcano. So that's the story about Pico Viejo, one of these uh, Miss Noma, one of these completely wrong names like the Cumbre Vieja, it's also called the Old Ridge, well, it's actually the geologically youngest ridge, but it's an old forest there, and it's a forest term, the hence the confusion. So, thank you very much, and uh, we'll make our way further, trying to look into the crater now, and I'll try to do a video over there as well.